Hey, what's up? We are going to dig today into macro plan. And what I'm going to use, it's the pandemic of COVID-19 that happened in 2020, especially the part on the lockdowns. We are going to look how to use MS Project to do a presentation and especially to build that presentation. I'm Christian from Vision 6D and I hope that you are really well. Let's now dig into building this. Behind me, you find the file on which we are going to work. This file has a certain structure because it contains events that happened during the pandemic. There are events which are global. For this, I have here a global part, you see, with a lot of events. Further down, for each country, and if I take here the US, you will see events and duration that happen for that country. I have different countries here which are present. It might be that your country is not present. And for this, I have here a model for any country. So if you want to add or you want to extend a country, you can simply come, you copy this, you come here down, and you paste it. Like that, you can add your country. The purpose of what we do here is to compare side by side each country for their periods of lockdown. And to be able to see this in the chronology of MS Project, since it's there that we have the graphical representation. Now I will go into the global data and you see that uh, we have many events which are present here uh, inside and you see here also confinement measures and you see here, for example, the lockdown for the city of Wuhan. This is one of the points that I will represent on the timeline. Timeline is what I used to call the chronology. And it's in the phrasing for MS Project, we call this the timeline. So this is for the global part. And I will also open to give you an example you see here those bars representing the duration of the lockdowns in the US. I will use for this the timeline. So if it doesn't appear in your diagrams, you go on to view and in view here, you have a checkbox for the timeline. Check it and then the timeline will open. In the file that I provide, you will already find a lot of events on the timeline. Of course, you can remove the ones that do not interest you. To know how to put milestones into a timeline, there is also another video specifically about milestones, and we also use the pandemic data. Now I will go into the global events and here down what I would like to represent on the timeline is the Huan cutoff or those 76 days that the region of Hubei was cut off. So for this I will simply add this to the timeline and we see that immediately it comes on the timeline with a certain color. This is because I had chosen that color. It might appear like that. Or if you want to change the color, you can go here inside. And if you are redoing everything on your own, it might be in that color. I will leave my original color. If now the text, you would like to change the fonts, you already saw it was just beside here. If, for example, I want it in white, I just do it like that. It might be at a certain point in the presentation when you think that uh, one of the bar is taking too much space, but you want to leave the information. 
So you can simply go onto this display as a bar and you see that we still have the information here, but it is displayed as a small bar. To go back, you will select the task you, you displayed and you see here you have new selections that came and you can say here display as a bar and like that it came back. I'm now taking France with their different lockdown periods so I'm going to select the first one and to simply say add to timeline and we see that down here came an additional line with the French stay at home order. I do the same for the following order and I will do the same for the third one. Like that, they are all added to the timeline. I will just organize it that we see it in that way. Now I'm going to add the US. And for this, I go into the country and I go down till I get to the point of the lockdown. Those points, you see that US stay at home some states. So it wasn't general, some states started. And then after you have the major part of the states that really started their lockdown. So it's this that I would like to, to join to the timeline. But you see, there is here a symbol that tells me that there is a note. So to look at that note, I go into the information and I directly here access the note. And this was at the time when I prepared this, you have a map of the lockdown states uh, in the US. The darker one have really a lockdown situation and the clearest gray, they don't have any lockdown. They had just advice or, or recommendations. So now what I want to do is to add this to the timeline. And what I will do, I will directly go on the Gantt chart. And you see that also from the Gantt chart, I can add to the timeline. And like that, you see that the US are now are brought onto the timeline. And you see really the, the difference now. The lockdown in China started here in January. The first in Europe was Italy. Then we had Spain that I don't show, but France. And in the end, it happened in the US. So now you've seen how I do it with the macro planification. Of course, Spain is missing, but I leave it up to you to add Spain to the diagram. So, oh, you saw how macro planification or global planification is going. Now you can do it for your own projects. You can use this as an example. You can use it as a playground, as a test bed. Uh, you can download the files, add your events, change everything, and just learn. We see how uh, out of world events, we can learn something and make something useful. I hope you liked it. If it's the case, thumb up, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps to grow the channel. And see you soon for our next video. Bye-bye.